Hey, what's going on, Solar Family? It's James here. Hopefully, you're doing amazing. And in this video, I want to go over how to calculate your commissions. So, you're watching this video because you're probably looking into getting started in solar, or maybe you just got started in solar and you just got hired on and you're scratching your head like, wait, hold on, how do I get paid again? So, I want to go over how to calculate your commissions. And in this particular demonstration, I'm going to show you how to calculate your commissions based on a red line business model. And I honestly feel the red line business model is the best solar compensation that you should be on. Okay, just to make that clear. But before I dive into it, if you haven't scheduled your free solar strategy call yet, especially if you want to get in solar or maybe you already are in solar and you want to learn how to sell solar virtually online in your pajamas, or you're a roofing or HVAC contractor that wants to add solar in your book of business, make sure to book your free solar strata call. It's gonna be a pop-up right above this video. So we're gonna dive right into it. All right, so I wanna show you how to calculate your solar commissions. And again, this is based on a red line compensation structure. If you don't know what a red line is, I have another video as well. Go check that out regarding red lines, right? But as far as a red line, a red line is your baseline, right? Just your starting point. So for example, if the red line that you got from solar company is 2.50, right? $2.50, then that means that any um, price above this $2.50 is gonna be your profit margin, okay? Let me show you as an example. So for example, if you added a dollar price per watt to this particular deal, that means that you're making a dollar for every single watt, okay? So the cost for this particular system is $3.50 a watt. And keep in mind that there are no adders here. Right? There's the biggest misconception that if you add adders to your deal, then it cuts into your commission. Where I'm going to show you here that it debunks that, you know, that theory because when you add an adder, it does not cut into your commissions, right? Unless you're racing to the bottom and obviously you're not going to do that. So you're going to add on adders here if the homeowner, for example, needs a main panel upgrade or they need a re-roof, or there's other situations on top of just installing solar that needs to be done prior to installing the system, okay? The adder is not on every single job, okay? Make a note of that. An adder is not on every single job. It's only if you're doing something above and beyond than just installing the solar system, like a re-roof, like a main panel upgrade, then you would add on an adder. But as far as your red line and your commission has nothing to do with the adder. It's totally separate. Obviously, the total price of the project is going to go up, but your margins as far as your commission is going to stay exactly the same. Okay? And let's keep that simple. Hopefully, that makes sense, right? An adder doesn't cut into your commissions. So your commissions right now in this example, it's a dollar per watt. And ideally, this should be your commissions, right? You're not gonna get this every time, but ideally the sweet spot to make amazing income in solar is a dollar per watt. So let me show you how to calculate that. So for example, if the system size is 10 kW, right? 10 kW just means 10,000 watts. Since your margin, it's a dollar a watt, this particular commission, 10,000 times a dollar a watt, your commission for this particular scenario, it's $10,000. And keep in mind, this is only for demonstrational purposes only. I'm not gonna tell you that you're gonna make this kind of money in every single deal. You may make this kind of money, you may make less. Hopefully that's starting to make sense, right? Because the biggest misconception right now is if you add on an adder, then it cuts into your commission. Obviously it will if you're gonna race to the bottom. But as you can see, even if we add on an adder here, this is going to be where you're uh, going to be calculating on how much money you want to make, right? Regardless if there's an adder. So for example, right? If there was an adder there of 50 cents, right? Let's go ahead and put 50 cents here. Maybe 
you had to do a main panel upgrade or whatnot, right? 50 cents. So now the total cost, let's just put it here. The total cost of this entire system, it's $4. PPW, which is price per watt, right? As you can see, yes, the total price per watt went up from $3.50 to $4 price per watt, but your margins right here remain exactly the same. It's still a dollar a watt margins for your profit, right? So for example, if you want to make, you know, 50 cents a watt, right? Times 10,000 watts. That means now, now your commission is $5,000 instead of $10,000. Hopefully you can see that, right? Or if you wanted to make 25 cents a watt, instead of a $5,000 commission, now it's a $2,500 commission. As you can see, the only thing you're doing is multiplying the total size of the system based on wattage times whatever you wanna mark it up at. Does that make sense? Hopefully this is starting to make sense because a lot of consultants, they dive into solar and they don't quite understand how they're getting paid. And ideally, you want to get on a red line business model compensation, right? Again, I'm gonna repeat that. Ideally, you want to get in a red line business model compensation. A 70-30 split or a percentage of the deal is not the best way to make amazing income in solar. If you want to maximize your commission, you should be on a red line. You'll be able to calculate and see these types of return on a red line compensation structure. It's very difficult to get these kind of uh, margins when it's on a percentage, right? 5%, 6% is very, very low. So if you want to dive in deeper, if you want to know how you can earn this type of income, or if you want to get in solar, or maybe you already are in solar and you want to learn how to sell solar virtually online in your pajamas, or maybe you're a roofing or HVAC contractor that wants to add solar and you book a business, make sure to book your free solar strategy call. It's going to pop up right above this video. Other than that, have an amazing day. Goodbye for now. Peace. Thank you.